Hey, there's Asante here. Welcome back to another MixLessons.com video quick tip. Uh, today I want to talk a little bit about how you can get more punch in your drum tracks um, using a parallel processing technique that I'd like to show you today. So let's turn our attention to the screen. What we have here is a simple loop that I put together using uh, a software instrument called Halion 4 and then I just bounce the audio out. Uh, so let's have a quick listen to that first. Okay, very simple kick, snare, and ride pattern. Um, and I'm just going to use this as an example uh, to demonstrate a parallel processing technique. And just before I do, I just want to briefly explain what I mean by parallel processing. Um, the, uh, the idea is, is that you take an original signal and you duplicate it so that you have an identical copy. You process the duplicate and then you blend that in with the original. And this serves the purpose of allowing you to, um, to drastically uh, process the, that duplicate in a way that would be definitely too much if it was just uh, applied to the original track, but it allows you to blend it in along uh, alongside the original to a level that is tasteful uh, without sacrificing the integrity of the original um, recorded audio track, okay? So what we're going to do today, and what I've done here, is I've taken that drum track that, that we just heard, I've duplicated it here, and then I've duplicated it again here. And the reason I did that is so that we can hear the difference uh, between this original track and then the, tr the track with the two parts playing together, and I've adjusted the balance so that the volume and the gain staging uh, stays the same, okay? So I'm gonna stretch my loop over here. And I'll show you what I've done. So this track, as you can see, uh, is just like the original. It has nothing on it. There's no EQ, no compressors, no anything. And then on this track right here, I've added one effect. Now this effect is, I'll open it up so you can have a look, is called Transex and it's by Waves. And it is basically a transient manipulator. Transient designer is oftentimes referred to. Uh, what it does is it takes just the peaks of the audio, just the initial transients that attack and allows us to either accentuate it, <clears throat> excuse me, or to round them off a little. Okay. So first of all, let me, um, let me play you I'm going to solo this track and play it for you and A, B, with and without the transex so you can hear what's happening. <clears throat> Take it away. Let me bring that up in volume a little. Bring it back in. and without. <clears throat> okay, so you can definitely hear that uh, it's taken those initial transients and just accentuated them uh, so that you get a very snappy attack, okay? But on its own, that's a little bit too drastic. However, since we've done this on a parallel track, a duplicate of the original, we can blend that into taste. So let me do that for you right now. So I faded it out altogether. Let's just blend it in. And you see how we are able to blend in that punchy attack right alongside the original unprocessed uh, version of the audio. So let's hear how that sounds in comparison. I'll just stretch my loop and we'll listen to the whole thing together. Uh, so the first two bars is the original track. The second two bars is our parallel processed version of that track. Okay, let's have a listen and see how that compares. Okay, so I hope you find that useful. Um, there's all kinds of other ways in which you can utilize parallel processing with compression, with uh, frequency-based uh, uh, processing, bandpass processing, and we'll talk about some of these things as time goes on. But in the meantime, head on over to MixLessons.com, throw your email on the list, and take the three simple steps to amazing home recordings course that I've put together for you there, free of charge, and I'll see you then. Okay, take care.